Hello everyone, welcome to Sahu Textile Academy. In today's session, we are with uh, Dr. Anand Mahapatra ji. Sir, welcome to Sahu Textile Academy. Thank you. So, sir is currently working as the head of business department of Pushkar's Chemical and Fertilizer Limited. So, last year we had a discussion on textile chemistry. Uh, do check out that video. I will place the link in the description. Uh, in today's video, we are going to have a discussion about technical textile. So make sure to watch this video till the end and uh, I hope uh, you will like this video. So sir, first of all, I, will, I would like to ask sir, what is technical textile and how it is different from uh, the conventional textile? See, uh, basically technical textiles uh, normally is uh, defined, you know, as uh, uh, textile materials and products used primarily uh, for the technical performance and functional uh, properties rather than their aesthetic or decorative uh, characteristics. Means, in other words, we can say like this that technical textiles is different from normal textiles. In normal textiles, we consider only the uh, like uh, shirtings, shootings, dress materials. All this will come in normal uh, te uh, textiles, but in technical textiles, it will come the textiles which are used for different functional end uses, you know, different type of high end uses. So that is technical textiles. So the, the other terms also we can define uh, technical uh, textiles as, uh, uh, so it, it is also known as industrial textiles. It is also known as uh, uh, functional textile. It is also known as performance textiles. It is also known as engineer textiles. And it is also known as uh, high-tech textiles. This is the difference between technical textiles and normal textiles. So technical textiles, you know, as we in India, as we compared, technical textiles, we lag very far behind. So first of all, you know, uh, in uh, way back in 2004, uh, uh, technical textiles in India, as it was started by the uh, previous uh, Congress government, and the textile minister was Mr. Uh, what is Mr. 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 Dayanidhi, uh, Dayanidhi Maran. He was the textile minister in 2004-2005. It started. They had a technical textile mission. They had started, and <clears throat> but somehow it didn't uh, uh, take up that uh, speed as compared to other countries like uh, the European countries and the uh, American countries and even the Chinese also. Chinese is also very far ahead than us in technical textiles. So uh, I think what, what may, one of the reasons may be see, our, uh, our country domestic textiles is so huge. So in that case, you know, this technical textile to grow it couldn't grow along with the uh, textile use because our uh, population is so high and our te textile industries are so much involved in this manufacturing the normal textiles like the clothing and the dress for this huge population, you know. That is why this technical textiles uh, part division couldn't uh, pick up as compared to other countries. Okay, sir. Sir, my next question is, sir, can you give some example of uh, uh, some technical textiles and uh, uh, its real life applications? See, normally technical textiles, uh, if you uh, compare uh, the applications, uh, uh, see technical textiles have been defined in such a way, you know, there are uh, segments, different segments, they call it 13 sectors in technical textiles. Number one, we can call it as agrotech. That is for agriculture, horticulture, and forestry. The number two is build tech. Build tech means for building and construction. What are the textiles used for building and constructions? Then the third is cloth tech. Cloth tech means the technical textiles uh, used for shoes and for uh, uh, technical components for the uh, clothing. They are called cloth tech. Then we have geotech. What is geotech? Geotech is for te textiles used in geotextiles. And civil engineering, like roads and all, they are being made by geotextiles. Then we have home tech. What is home tech? Home tech means components of furnitures, household goods, the um, furnishing clothes. They are all made. Uh, they are. They, they all come under the technical textile sector or segment. 
Then the sixth one is in Indutech. Indutech means the textiles which is used for filtration, for cleaning and other industrial uses. That is all as. Uh, then we come have Meditech. Meditech means this is the seventh one, hygiene and medical. You know, during the COVID time, you know, this, this sector, it developed uh, more and we uh, got the response very well. So that is we call it as Meditech. Then we have Mobitech. Mobitech means the technical textile used in automobiles, technical textile used in shippings, railways, and aerospace. They are all technical textiles. Then we have Okotech. Okotech means the textile used for environmental protection. Then 10th, we have Pactech. Pactech means for textile used for packaging, different types of packaging. Then we have 11th is Protech, that is for pro uh, personal and property protection. Then 12th, we have sport tech, that is your uh, textile use for uh, textile use for sports use. And the last one is your defense tech, that is used for textile uh, for defense purposes. See, I'll tell you, uh, during 2004-2005, uh, we, uh, we have four different type of, uh, five different type of research institutes in India. One is your NITRA, that is your North Indian Textile Research Association. So they, their this technical uh, textile, they have a, uh, the government of India has opened a um, uh, school of uh, excellence. That is uh, in NITRA, only there will be studies on this uh, defense textiles. That is the technical textile used for defense. Then let us come to uh, Atira. Atira, that is Ahmedabad Textile Research Association, that has been, uh, that has been uh, specified uh, only for uh, research on uh, one segment of technical textiles known as mobile tech. That is, uh, technical textile used for furnishing uh, fabrics used to used in the clothes, uh, in used in the cars, in the buses, and all those things. Then, then we have um, then we have Citra, that is your South Indian Textile Resource Association. That is also a technical textile uh, school of excellence. They have uh, the government of India has made. They will they are doing research on surgical textiles. That is your uh, meditex. They, they they are making different type of surgical aprons and all. Then similarly, so similarly we have wool. Uh, we also have a, a wool research association also. So they are also uh, uh, devoted to some type of uh, technical textile. So this is the way how the government of India has divided all the te uh, technical research institutes, textile research institutes, into different areas of research on technical textiles. Okay, sir. Sir, my next question is, sir, what are the challenges uh, associated with manufacturing of technical textiles? See, the main uh, the, uh, challenges are, uh, because, you know, technical textiles, you know, you, uh, you need a specialized uh, fiber. See, what are the, in technical textiles, you cannot use the normal uh, polyester yarn or the normal uh, cotton yarn you cannot use. You have to use the specialized uh, yarns having high tenacity or high uh, elongation, everything or super specialized uh, textiles have to be uh, used in this technical textile. So for this, you know, we have to, uh, the industry should be very upgraded, you know, uh, in making all this, uh, all these specialized uh, yarns, the so industry should be more equipped with all these facilities. So in that case, you know, a lot of uh, expenditure, a lot of, uh, 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 money is required to make this high performance textile. So you, all these high performance textiles you cannot make in this uh, in our normal textile industry. So it's a sp very special type of uh, textile industries. So where you have to uh, use uh, different types of uh, fibers and yarns, which is very high, highly costly and highly it, uh, the, to ma manufacture this uh, industrial high performance fibers is also having high tenacity, having excellent insulation, having uh, improved thermal resistance and chemical resistance, etc. You know, we call it as high performance fibers. So that, that then only you can technical textiles will grow. Unless we don't have that, that type of manufacturing of such high performance fibers in India. Yeah. So basically the fibers which are used, uh, known as uh, Nomex, Kevlar, Spandex, Glass, carbon fibers, all these fibers, all this industry has to be developed in India. Then only the uh, technical textile will grow. So we, the technical textile market cannot grow with this normal fiber, which we are using for 
our clothing our um, uh, other uh, household wood, goods and all those fibers cannot do so technical textiles means specialized fibers okay sir so sir according to you what is the future of a te- technical textile in indian market see as uh, suppose if you compare suppose if you compare the uh, world world textile uh, global market suppose we consider the uh, te- technical textile global market uh, now what is presently it is what now it is about 100 uh, it is about 220 billion us dollars right and united states of america is the world's largest producer and consumer of technical textiles what is the share of united states of america it is 23% and how much is the western europe western europe is having 22% share and china is having 13% share and japan is having 7% share but the share of india in world technical textiles market is about only 4 to 5% see see the difference between america and uh, uh, india we are only 4 to 5% only uh, our technical textile market so in that case focus has to be given and i think the present government is looking into it how to focus more on this because this is the future technical textile is the future of the uh, next generation see over over the past 10 years you know asia is emerging as a powerhouse both for production and consumption of technical textiles with china being a market leader then we have korea we have japan we have india and we have taiwan these all are the key players of technical textiles in asian countries see we have to compete with usa and europe so all these asian countries like uh, china korea japan taiwan india so these all are uh, so the production of technical textiles requires large investment in developing specialized high performance fiber high technology and modern production facilities for that you know the present government has to give initiatives and they should invite the players big players like the reliance group the adani group uh, wellspun group all these big groups to come up with innovative technical textiles project so it is very cost uh, incentive but i think only the big uh, players they can come out they can uh, invest in such uh, projects where technical textiles will grow otherwise it's very difficult to grow okay sir sir how can technical textile contribute towards health and safety the development of personal protective equipment pp see technical textiles uh, you know uh, um, technical textile is growing yes technical textile sector in india is estimated to grow at the rate of 12% per annum so it's a, it's a good but we expect it should grow uh, minimum at uh, 20% annual growth in this sector so we are expecting this as compared to and see um, uh, because this uh, uh, protection since uh, nowadays you know you, you know uh, we had a very bad experience during covid uh, so we are not prepared that time and all of a sudden this uh, covid started so in that case our this uh, industry this uh, we were we were we were not having sufficient pp suits we were not having sufficient masks all these things we were lagging that time and uh, to give up a, a, a big population in india you know so um, to uh, uh, 140 crores people uh, to all provide all this um, uh, kids that time it was very difficult so in that case you know that so that was the time that was a uh, that was a alarm call to given to the uh, industries that uh, you should be ready every time with this facilities any time any any emergency medical emergencies come you, we should be equipped in making all this pp suits different type of pp suits different for the making the pp suit the, the, the different type of yarn poly, fiber are being used like polypropylene like nylon polyester cotton everything is been, all these fibers have to be used and everything we should be uh, we should be equipped with all the technical know how of all these fibers and yarns so then only we can uh, contribute this uh, field so that always that is why it is one of the uh, sector known as uh, seventh uh, sector of technical textiles known as meditech so this pp suits and all it comes under meditech sectors of technical textiles sir what are the current global trends in technical textile market the technical textile uh, market this are the uh, i've already i've already told about that uh, 13 sectors so all those 13 sectors are very prominent 
Suppose if you start from uh, um, uh, geotextiles, right? Ge uh, this uh, the geotextiles we call it as uh, the geotextiles and civil that is the roads. You know, nowadays you you do not uh, make uh, roads out of uh, uh, what you call that um, normal uh, carbon or normal uh, roads. It's, it should be specialized roads of uh, made out of geotextiles. So it's a different type of uh, uh, textiles which is having. Uh, high longevity and high strength and all those uh, facilities it has got. So this is one of the uh, examples where you can use. And lastly, I will I, I like to say that uh, during my 40 years of uh, experience working in textile industry, so I have worked in uh, practically I worked in two uh, technical textile division. One is uh, first uh, initially I got uh, when I was working with Rajasthan uh, Spinning Mills uh, Milwada Melba Dewitt. So there uh, we were making. Um, uh, we were the we were the first company in India in 1992 to uh, sorry 96 1996 to manufacture in India first we were automobile automotive fabrics we were making automotive fabrics for uh, Maruti for Tata for uh, Honda all these car seat covers and the uh, interior of all the cars we were manufacturing that in. Uh, Bilwada Melwada David, that is LNJ Bilwada Group, that was uh, in Modi, Maswada, Rajasthan. So I was the first person. For that, I went for an in plant training to, um, uh, to Melba Industries Australia. So that was one of my practical experience of making a technical textile product for three years. I made that product. Then again in 19, uh, then again in uh, 2000, again I uh, got a chance to work again in Rajasthan Spinning and another technical textile division. That is known as fire retardant fabrics. So fire retardant fabrics. So we we used to manufacture fire retardant fabrics for hotels, for curtains, for hotels, for even uh, the um, uh, bus uh, seat covers. You know this fire retardant fabric. This all comes under technical textile. So technical textiles. Uh, uh, so these are my two my uh, practical experience. So if anybody interested to know uh, more about the detail about these two projects, like your. Um, uh, uh, what you call the fire retardant fabrics or the automotive fabrics. So you should just be in touch with me. So I will give you the technical know-how, how to make these fabrics uh, in, a, uh, in, your, in your factory and how it can be exported and how it can be used, what are the characteristics, what are the properties of the fabric. All these details uh, I can just share with you. Okay, sir. So with this, we end our today's session, sir. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. I, I, I'm very much thankful to uh, Sahu Textile Academy for conducting this uh, short course about uh, different technical textiles and all. And I'm, and, I, 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 and, and I'm also happy to know that Sahu Textile Academy is conducting this such type of uh, informative and uh, textile courses uh, at regular intervals. And uh, and I and I think this will be very helpful to the uh, students and to the people working in the industry to get the knowledge, updated knowledge on different topics. And uh, South Textile Academy is covering uh, beautiful, uh, worth uh, listening uh, topics, uh, industrial uh, helpful topics. They are all covering, and uh, I think this will be very helpful to the industry. So I wish you all the best to South Textile Academy for its success and for its new adventure. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir.